Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce the endpoint function on T16D and T12D transmitter. Take T16D as an example. Press mode button to enter my menu. General settings. Endpoints. T16D has 16 channels, so you can set the endpoints of all the 16 channels here. And the endpoints can be set from 0 to 120, 8 volts to 100. There are two values for each channel, which indicates the travel amount of both sides of the channel. And for example, I set the upper endpoint of channel 3 to 120. And when I push a joystick to the highest position, it can reach the largest travel amount. And if you want the same travel amount for the lowest part, I just need to set the value below to 120. That is to see when I push the joystick up and down, it can reach the largest travel amount for the both two sides, which is 120. And if you want to assign a switch to control the endpoint function, you can set condition function, return, advanced settings, conditions. Up to three conditions can be set in the model. I want to use a three position switch to change three different endpoints. So I need to set a three position switch for the three conditions, such as switch C, which is a three position switch. So I set switch C up. For condition one, and switch C middle for condition two. And switch C down for condition 3 and enter the next setting page. And these functions can be controlled by using condition switches. I want to use condition switches uh, to control the endpoints function, so I need to turn on endpoints here, return, and go back to endpoints setting page. And push switch C up. It is condition 1. The top taskbar will also display the number 1 here, which means condition 1. And take channel 3 as an example. And I set the endpoints of channel 3 to 120 for condition 1. And you can also adjust the endpoints of other channels at the same time. And then push switch C to the middle position. It is condition 2. The condition number 2 also shows here. So I set the endpoints of channel 3 to another value such as 90. And push switch C down. It is condition 3. So here is 3 which means condition 3. And I set the endpoints of channel 3 to 50. And the setting is done, let's push the switch C and check if it can switch the endpoints. Push switch C up. The condition 1. You can see the endpoints of channel 3 is 120. And push switch C to the middle position. It is condition 2. The endpoints of channel 3 is 90. And push switch C down. It is condition 3. And the endpoints of channel 3 is 50. So that is to see when switch C is placed in different positions, the top taskbar will display the corresponding condition number. And you can set different endpoints for the channels you want. So that is how to assign a switch to control endpoints function of T16D and T12D.